Hi YouTube, Ready Prep Go here, and today I want to challenge you, and I'd also like you to challenge others, and maybe possibly insult some people's intelligence, because there is something wrong with a lot of people that I am quite shocked at and surprised. It's an overwhelming majority of people, I find, who I encounter, who don't know how to do this basic thing. So first, what I want you to do, <clears throat> and then what I want you to do to someone else, is... Take a look at your multi-tool, because odds are if you're subscribed to my channel, you own a multi-tool. If you don't, you should. They're really convenient. Also, odds are that somebody you know owns a multi-tool of some kind, whether it be a Leatherman or a Swiss Army knife or a SOG. Doesn't matter which one it is, odds are it comes with this tool. The can opener. Now, hopefully all of you are aware that this is a can opener. Some of you may think, this is a bottle opener, which it can be used as a bottle opener, but it is not a bottle opener. And again, I'm sorry if I insult your intelligence, and I'm sure many of you already know this is actually a can opener. But there is a staggering amount of people who don't know how to use this. In college, one test I would actually give people is whether or not they could use this. I wouldn't tell them what it was. And I wouldn't show them what to do. I would simply hand them this and a can and say, open the can with this. None of them could do it. This bothers me. That's why I sound upset or annoyed. I'm not annoyed with anybody specifically watching this. I'm just, <clears throat> I'm just kind of worried. And that is why I make these videos for my generation to to learn these things. It is important that you learn these things, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to try my best not to be the the angry father who tries to educate through shouting. Take a look at your multi-tool and the can opener that comes with it, and make sure that you know how to open a can with it. It's not difficult. And then, I want you to find a friend or any of your friends who own a multi-tool, and I want you to examine their multi-tool for them. See if they'll let you see it. Say, can I take a look at that? First, Look at the blade. Odds are their blade on their multi-tool has never been sharpened. So many people don't take care of their knives, and so many people don't even know how to take care of their knives. I'm also going to make a video on knife sharpening for, for my generation to learn how to do that properly. But anyway, so many times I know people who carry like a Swiss Army knife, but they've never sharpened the blade, and they've had it for like four years, and it's just like a butter knife. What's the point of even having that? It's not difficult and it's not expensive to just go out and get an 800 grit diamond plate to sharpen your knife. That's all you need, really. If you want to have a knife in workable condition, all you need is a small 800 grit diamond plate. Next, I want you to look at what kind of can opener they have. There are these style can openers that kind of look like a claw. And then there are the other ones that sort of look like um, a piece of pie, a quarter circle when the outer round part of the circle is sharp. And then the right angle point is what you stick into the can. Anyway, they come in a couple different shapes and sizes, but this is a very common type of can opener, especially with Leatherman. This is their can opener, and it's great. This will open any can really well, and it actually leaves a really nice, soft inner edge on the actual like can body, so if you want to use it later, say you're out camping and you want to use it to boil water in, or if you're gathering... Um, pine sap and you want to cook it up and make some kind of glue out of it, you can use that without cutting your finger on the inside of the rim. These are terrific. So see what kind of can opener your friend's multi-tool has and then challenge them to use it. And I bet that they probably won't know how to use it. I make this assumption because every person I've ever asked has never been able to successfully open a can with this without instruction. Now, if you find someone, say, in their middle ages nowadays, it's more likely that they will know how to use this. And they'll be like, don't insult my intelligence. Of course I know how to open a can with this can opener. But somebody my age, someone in their 20s or even their 30s, I bet they're not going to know how to use this. And it's sad to me. So today I'm here to educate Generation Y. I am going to keep waving this thing in your face. If you already know how to do this, Please spread the knowledge, because this does not require batteries. This does not require 
anything except good old fashioned elbow grease. If you don't know how to use this, I'm going to fix you. You're going to be set. And then you can challenge other people and show them how smart you became. First, you're going to need coffee. Second, you're going to need a can. I'm going to demonstrate on this can because it is very, 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 very expired. This one is from 2006. I think it is sufficiently old enough to be tested on. Don't eat any cans from 2006. Third, you need your multi-tool with a can opener. Not the kind that has the twisty knob, but I mean this manually operated, no moving parts one. Whether you have this kind of can opener or you have the one that's shaped like a quarter of a circle or a piece of pie or that crescent shaped one, they're going to operate the same way. <clears throat> Depending on which way the blade faces, though, you may go one direction with it instead of the other. However, the manual operation is the same. So, with your can, you see you've got this nice lid with a rim, and on the edge, you've got, it's like a bullet casing. It's got this rim right here that I can catch my fingernail on, right? And that rim is where you want to catch the little hook jobby. This piece right here, you want to catch that on the rim where I just caught my fingernail. Slide it up. While this is hooked on there, you're going to take this part, and you're going to sink it along the inside part of the rim. Your whole operation should look like this. Now you're going to lever, when you have it in this position, you're going to lever up. So you sink the tooth into the can. There was a little release of gas there. See, I'm um, going in. Oh, we have intake. All right, oh, just smells like regular tomatoes. You see, I've put a hole in it. Now, with your can opener, you would then lever this back a little bit. Don't want to take that tooth out of the hole completely, just a little so that it's just hanging in there and you're going to slide the mechanism back a bit but not out of the hole like that so just back a bit so you can then lever it up again and you widen the hole making sure that this still has a good grip on the rim lever down pull back a bit lever up pull back a bit lever up pull back a bit lever up and you see, my hole is way bigger now. Pull back a bit, lever up. 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 And once you get better at this, you'll be able to open a can in under, you know, 15 seconds. For being a can that's eight years old, this doesn't smell awful. Uh, I'm, I got lucky. The can hadn't bulged yet, so. I don't think anything serious happened. And they're also, I'm sure, tomatoes are pretty acidic, so it's really hard for stuff to grow in there. Now, if you have the crescent-shaped ones where it curves up and there's a rounded blade, you would actually push into your cut rather than pull into the cut. That's the motion you're looking for, just a little incremental step. And you go around so you got to about this point. You got a little portion that hasn't been cut yet so you can use that as a hinge and lever the can open and wow for being a can from 2006 this hasn't rotted at all I am amazed I still definitely don't trust it I'm not gonna eat it I am gonna throw it away because it is very 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 old and there you have it it's a piece of cake one of the simplest mechanisms one of the easiest tools for anybody to use a toddler can do it so if previously you did not know how to use this now you have no excuse Please, help me in educating Generation Y. Help people know how to use this. Because this is a forgotten technique. How is this forgotten? It's so simple. It's so easy. It's, it's almost free. It doesn't, require, it doesn't require a cable subscription. It doesn't require paying the energy company anything. It's just, it's the food in you. You've got the chemical energy and you're doing it. It's all on you, man. It doesn't require a solar generator or an ox turning a wheel. It doesn't require... Anything except just a basic understanding, and this shouldn't require any thought. People should just look at this and immediately know how to do it. So if they don't, help them. Maybe you can make a game out of it. You know, 
Make bets with people. See if they can figure it out if they've never done it before. Maybe earn some money because I'm pretty sure you're going to win the bet most times. Anyway, thanks for bearing with me. I know this was kind of a rant, but it needed to be said. Thank you for watching my videos. As I'm making this video, I'm at 39 subscribers, just under 40, man. That's going to be cool when we get there. I can't wait for, say, 50 or 100. Those are going to be good days. I'm thinking about doing something to thank my viewers. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be yet. I'm going to wait till we get to a little higher number, which, you know, we got all the time in the world, people. I'm going to keep making these videos for years, so don't expect them to die down anytime soon. Uh, I've got lots of great ideas for the future. Thank you so much for subscribing. Also, if you enjoy my videos, please click the like button, the little thumbs up guy. It allows more people to see my videos. And that's what I'm all about, is spreading the knowledge. Please help me do that. I hope everybody's enjoying their spring. I know I am. I'm going to work on making another good video here. While opening cans, please stay safe. They're pointy. Please have fun. Please enjoy your food. And keep educating yourselves. I'll be back with another video.